Heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Bektik is three years his senior. He is one inch taller. He will have a one inch reach advantage. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, Colossal. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, presenting the challenger, Merced Bactin. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Lee! UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch now, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? So here we go, the weight and the hype gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter, taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Watch land. Ooh, head kick land. He's hurt. And he landed the right hand there. A little check the high kick. Hook is there again.
right hand punch from the clinch. My goodness. Oh, straight right. Oh. Big body kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Wow. He actually got the takedown. Looks like he's transitioned to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Attack an armbar. Armbar's been isolated, but he picks him up and slams him down. He lifted him through the air, slammed him on his back, and moved right into side control to get out of danger. Beautiful job to not just turn defense into offense, but also to end up in a dominant position. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. All right, pretty good series of knees by him there, so mixing up the striking really well in this fight tonight. Fantastic fighter, but when he added knees to his game, he became even better. That knee might have landed there. Oh, and another knee by Lee. Oh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. He better raise that guard or he's going to fall asleep. He cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. No, it doesn't. It doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Oh, Superman punch is good. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That's a way to leave an impression on the judges. And big picture, I think, could set him up for future success in the next one. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready? You ready? Fight! Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Him. Straight punch lands. Nice head kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Nice punch, Lance. He landed a good uppercut there. Ooh. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target, so even if the feet aren't moving, you've got to be ready. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Becton. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Effective punch there by Mursad Becton. Nice job of hiding that hit, Tim. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Throws the right hand there. And they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he lands another.
another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder round. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, round three coming up next. take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Are you ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Shot. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. And he continues to work the body here. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big punch land for the middle. Nice body. Beck takes inner thigh a deep shade of purple at this point. submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 19 seconds of the third round for the winner by submission and still.
Castle. We hear a 